Dai così. Ciao, Ciao Danieli e John. Oh, love you, love you. Good morning and welcome to another week of John and Daniel vlogs and um, this week is going to be the best week ever Why? Because I'm in it oh, Look, I look, you've got to look at this beautiful face all week Congratulations <laughs> We get through so many eggs, so many eggs well, Really, we should have got some more from Aldi And I don't like it and you know when they say free range eggs I mean, what does that mean? Does that mean that they're allowed to run around the cage freely, like range free? Hey baby, how would you like to try one of my big sausages? It's not big enough. <laughs> Those dry mushrooms. No. Oh my God, it's like every single day. Get up, have a bath, have a shit. Think about weighing yourself or not. Make some breakfast, do some work, put on the frying pan, Make some more food. That's my life. That's my, and I love it. And I'm not complaining. And that's because today I am treating myself and Daniel to this. These very special tuna steaks from Aldi. And they're, they're frozen. I don't need to any good or not. What? I hear you there complaining. I don't care. I'm not complaining about you. I'm just saying complaining about nothing. Life's good. Life's precious. Put the light back on you, Dave. Right, okay, I'm just gonna go away and cook. All I'm gonna do is fry this tuna in some butter, some vegetables, make it very, very quick and easy. You don't need to watch it. Here you go, shithead. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Tuna? It's butter fried tuna steak with creamed mixed leek vegetables. Can I have some soy sauce? Really? Try it! I've just been on the phone to Sarah for a little while. Well, we've been talking about losing weight and she says that she's overweight now. She's been overweight for three years. And I think I've been overweight for two and a half years or something like that. Have I? Well, fluctuating. Anyway. So she's gonna do it with me as well. So I just sent her the, um, the link for the scales. I've also sent her a link for all the keto stuff so that she knows what she can and can't eat. But strangely enough, I've been eating Greek yogurt and then on the keto thing, it says it's limited. You can't eat it all the time, I'm presuming, or you can only eat a certain amount. But I've got a little bit left, but I'm gonna have to find something else what I can eat at night. And you can't eat fruits. <clears throat> You know, I think I'm just craving at the moment. And it's the beginning of the keto thing, so I'm gonna feel like this for a while. You know what, you're not thinking. I'm thinking I'm gonna go to the, I am gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. But it looks good, doesn't it? I've got a little bit more Greek yogurt left, so, you know, then I know. But I've been having, I didn't have it yesterday, I did it the day before. But, See what I did do the other day? I put cream in it. I'm sure you can do that. Cheers. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. What are you doing? Are you sleepy? I come to bed and she's like, okay, me time for go sleep, sleep now, now. This light is just not good. A little shadow, it's just there. Uh, oh. oh. No, it's just really bad because there's an up light, so it's kind of like. What are you looking at? Daniel's looking at me like I'm crazy. Don't throw toilet paper at me, you pillock. Here, take it. <laughs> Daniel, come on. Who wants a bit of attention, don't you? No. Hey, Jack. Can you hear it? There's not to listen. You can't hear anything, can you? What's this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Jack always does this. Always in a kitchen when she hear the noises, whoever it is, she's just gonna be here begging. I think it's all my fault because I treat her like a human. <laughs> I prefer her than humans though, so. I mix this little patches like this with dry food and uh, she seems to love it, yeah? Food ready? Come on then. Oh, oh. Good girl. There you go. She's done with me now. You know what happened today then? My sister called me and uh, she, she was asking if I have anything new. And she lives in Italy and I was like, no, nothing new. And she was telling me that she's been watching <laughs> mine and John's videos for years and she's never never said anything about it. She was waiting for me to say something. And <laughs> if, it come, if it's up to me, I'm never gonna say anything. But it's nice that she has opened the conversation and now, so she has invited me and John to go to Italy. Well, not now because it's Corona, but maybe soon we will go. So there you go. Ciao. 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 Can't complain. Can I have a knife and fork? Thank you. What do you want with this um, pork? Baby, what do you want with the pork? Please, the come on. No, I just want to get a close up. Please, come on. Come on, it's really important. <laughs> what do you want with it? Anything. Get the cabbage. I'm gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit, cabbage. Cabbage edge. Cabbage edge. Cabbage. Cabbage. That's nice. What, what do you want it boiled? Yeah. Albania. Here you go. Thank you. We have got. Whoa, whoa, whoa. which one is the best? <laughs> do you know what we've got? So we've got mascarpone cabbage with buttered and olive oil, salt and pepper, baby carrots, and a um, roast pork with crackling. What do you say, baby? I'd say crack it. Nice. We've been working all day with Smooth FM and now it's time to finish. And Daniel's still working because we've had a good day, he's been really productive. He's like, I wanna keep working, I wanna keep working, I wanna keep working. He needs to stop. Because I know I have. We have kids who would have children to keep. <laughs> what? What? We need to feed our children. You, have, you mean our big ginger bitch? Yeah, that's just one of the two bitches living in this household. <laughs> Look, food again. And I've decided that tomorrow I'm gonna be good. These can't eat these, these aren't keto. Tomorrow I'm actually gonna go Aldi and just top up. I mean, for the price it takes to go to Aldi, it's like five pound, two pound fifty there and back. I said, Dalma does, says the neighbor, do you want to come again? And she said, I'll oh, think about it. So I think she should. So I'm gonna not do a co-op and go there and spend like 20, 30 quid on one bag of shopping, which is easily done because you know that Fagie Greek yogurt, I think it's three pounds. And in Aldi, you can get a whole bag a whole bag, a whole tub for less than a pound. I feel like you're a like, shopping channel, John. Just leave it. They know what to buy. Yeah, but no, and listen, you might know what to buy. I know what to buy. But this one, he doesn't know what to buy. So I'm taking control of it. I'm expressing my shopping expertise. <laughs> I am getting so fed up with my hairline. It just screamed like further. Look at that. What is that there? What is that thing? It's like a horn's ready to come out. Look, if I brush the hair down like that, 
then it just looks like I've got a toupee on, which is so much better. I think what I need to do, I think I just need to bite the bullet and go for a hair transplant when this COVID thing's over. Jump over to Turkey, get those plugs in the front. Somebody looked at me and said, that bloke's had a hair transplant. I'm going to do it, you know. I am going to do it. It would make me feel so much better, especially looking at that. Ah! <laughs> Good night. We are off to Aldi this morning and being very good. So I'm sticking with what I thought or what I said yesterday. I'm making sure that I go Aldi. I dyed my eyebrows for the occasion and I put on a jumper even though I still look like shit, but I don't care. Thank you for helping me with the battery. You always pick the, the time that I am really grumpy. Well, you mean any time. Battery's dead. Cold weather, it's just come. What, I'm, what I'll probably do is charge up when I get back, but if there's enough, I keep the lights low or off, enough to charge it to get there and get back, and then I'll charge it up overnight, I think. But first of all, I've got to see if Daniel, what's Daniel doing? Go well, that's on there. That's charging up. I think I'm gonna have to leave it on for an hour, what'd you say? have checked before you're not very organized listen it's not very often that my battery is dying and plus i am organized all the time every day success oh, thank God for that. So we've got a little bit of power in here and off to aldi we go I just hope we've got enough um, power in the battery oh my god i hate seeing Dalma's tits she shows me to them all the, shows me to, all the time on the phone it's like don't want to see them You've got these big pendulous bazungas that bounce around in Hungary like a crazy thing. <laughs> Trying to find one of those mini trolleys so I don't fill it up, but I think I'm going to end up getting one of those bigger Jaffa Walkie ones. But I, but I do, the thing is, I do need some heavier items, so it'll be all good. So a little story for you this guy, I just came in and there was a guy, and he, oh, I just filmed like as I usually do, and I'm like, you can't film me, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, okay. Processes. This guy looks a bit trouble. So I said, you're absolutely right. I will delete the footage. I don't even know he was in the shot. Um, he just stood behind me. Anyway, same guy, just screaming and shouting, screaming. I am so glad I didn't do any kind of confrontation. Just ignore, just ignore these people. They're out looking for trouble. So, 104 pounds for all of that. And I reckon, because I've got lots of little bits, so that when we do run out of some of the stuff I haven't actually started to use yet, it's gonna be good. <laughs> I fucking hope so. So I've got a few more bits and bobs, but more importantly, I just went to Boots and I got some foundation. Foundation BB cream, I'll cover up because mine's all dried out. And then Daniel's got some which is far too dark. So when he puts it on, he just looks stupid. I feel like such a thief. <laughs> yeah, no. I know, but it's like, I haven't done that before. And I'll tell you what I did. So I was in Wilco, and Wilco's like a really, really cheap shop, and they do like homeware stuff, like all the anti-bikes and toilet brushes. Speaking about toilet brushes, so I bought like anti-bike, toilet brushes. I thought, you know what, because of the coffee, the price of the coffee, which I'm spending, I bought a cafetier. I found a nice one, silver. It looked really good, so I got I the best one there. Oh, thank you very much. She's got a good coffee because I can't afford to buy these pods all the time. So I went to the counter and I said to the guy, I said, um, where are the bags? He said, it's self-scan, scan a bag in. So I picked up the bag, got all the stuff in my, it was really awkward. So I was like, beep. And then I went, beep. I was like, oh my God. And because I just put the cafetier down and then I put the, the toilet brush down. The toilet brush was 65p, but I already scanned the cafetier at 65 pence because it didn't scan in. So it's like, and it was already down there and I thought, I'm, I just stole from Wilco. I feel like a thief, I'm going to hell. <laughs> no. That's it, I've done. <laughs> I've done, my life is over. It's like full confession all over the internet now. I've done. <laughs> <laughs> I just called Daniel and said, help me. And he's like, is that the park? How dare he go to the park when I need him? But I've got to show you this, look at this cafetier. I'm so shocked, I'm so happy about it. <laughs> This is my stolen cafetier. So if you ever want a cup of coffee, an illegal cup of coffee, you come here, mm, 
it smells like free and have a cup of free coffee well pay coffee in a 65 pence toilet brush so see this is what i did it was like that <laughs> See, and then I caught, I, I must have caught that. Exactly, that's what happened. <laughs> I'm so pleased. <laughs> Wanna try it? No. How's that? Enjoy it, baby. That's stolen, that coffee. What do you mean stolen? It's stolen. You stole the coffee? No. You stole the making device. There. It's stolen. <laughs> What's for dinner? Mm. And Thank you. you. So I knew you want salad. I don't really want salad. That's perfect. You don't want salad? No. Salad, salad is good for you. No, I know it is, but I just don't fancy it. It's a little bit too. La high, la high. What was that? What's your food? It looks nice, but it tastes really bland. What do you mean it tastes bland? It's like no season on this. Well, put some on then. It's really nice. Thank you very much. You should do it. Don't lie to me. It's nice. Look at this. Come to come into the bathroom. That in the dark, and there was that piece. What am I going to do with that? And he's screaming at me because I said bring me some to toilet paper. If, I think you you turned it because I have a big for toilet paper. If I, There's toilet paper there! I can't turn all the way around. Could you imagine I'd have got that if he wasn't here? My finger would have gone straight through. You know that feeling where you've got foundation on your face and a better cover up and your hair's slightly done and you've got into a nice clean bed with a hot, hot electric blanket underneath. That's the feeling I've got right now. What do you have, Jack? Do you have that feeling as well? She feels clean because she got covered in mud today, but now she's been in the bath because otherwise, I was just gonna lie and say she wouldn't be in the bed, but that's completely wrong. She'd be in the bed anyway, but to be honest, the way she was early today, no way. I am going to go, it's so warm, it's so, I'm so comfortable. Oh, let, me say, let me just get comfortable before I say goodnight. And good morning. I am going to Richmond's Park and I have agreed to meet Laurie and Fleur there because we're all reasonably local to that place and go for a walk with Jack because she definitely desperately needs to go out. Daniel <laughs> did not want to go out, of course he didn't, because he's a lazy git. <laughs> This is what you forget about girls because when they're there together, they don't even think about like anything except like, talk, talk, talk. We did initially think that all the toilets would be closed in Richmond Park, but they're not. So that building behind, which I can't actually get. Oh my god, the dog's gone in. She's not supposed to be in. Come on, Jake. Silly girl. Where is she? Where is she says. So they've gone to the toilet. You know, together. One wanted to go, and the other was like. Oh, I'll go as well, because that's what girls do. They like cling onto each other, go to the toilet together, do everything together, and just leave us poor homosexuals out to suffer. Well, today I'm gonna I'm gonna invent a soup my way. It's like I've never I never done it before. I'm just gonna do like a, a chicken and chickpea flour soup. I don't know how it's gonna come out, but you see it in the end. John has over me when it comes to cooking is that 
I am super messy. Not dirty, but super messy. And at least he cleans after himself while he's cooking. I don't. I just wait till the end. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I'm all right, you know, just like trying to. I'm letting these talk. I'm like, I'm listening to what they're saying. You're dismissing us. And though. all they We're do. Not even no, no, I'm listening. I'm kind of enjoying it because I haven't been out for such a long time. But I'm listening, and all they're talking about is men and they're comparing <laughs> breast sizes because that's what that's what Obviously. girls is that what girls do all the time. Always. It's like mine are bigger than yours. No, they're not. <laughs> You didn't mention other stuff, but it's better. It's better you don't mention it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Obviously, you've got something on your mind, Fleur. Uh, I always have something on my mind. <laughs> yeah, we know exactly what you've got on your mind. Dirty bitch. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it looks like there have been a few signs put on around the lake saying that the dog cannot roam free, which is understandable. To be honest, a couple of years ago, <clears throat> even as early as one year ago, the dog was jumping in the water. I mean, she's not interested in the birds at all, but the birds could do some damage to her and some swans just behind me. It is almost rooting season, so the deer are just practicing. These are just young deer kind of um, practicing, but soon when it gets a little bit further towards the end of this year, they will be doing it for real to fight for the dominance so that they can mate with the most luscious female. Like me. No. <laughs> All right, bitches, I'm going. <laughs> you have to get the bus. See ya. Uh... <laughs> Bye. Bye, I'm not too long from home now. It was nice to see my girls today and I've got a nice soup apparently because Daniel FaceTimed me but it doesn't look like the type of amazing soup that I usually make but it's made food, can't complain, good like some bread, not gonna happen, probably burnt off some calories so there's no way that I'm gonna mess up this little walk and these few calories burnt off by eating crap. No way but I'm starving. I'm so Touching my soup. I just put some butter in it because it was nice, but it didn't have that. But I need more fat with keto. Oh, that's e my soup. Even though Laurie doesn't believe in keto, what does she believe in? Cook, <laughs> Daniel. Yeah. Well, I, I, but there was loads of butter I put in there, but it tastes nice. It tastes lovely. Why don't you add some red wine? You make it much oh, better. It's so stupid. Look, and I, look, this, that's the chicken. So the meat's gonna be beautiful coming off the bone. We have to make sure you take these bones out. Anything else? No, no, no. It's it's really nice. Dan, did you blend the Did you blend blend the um, carrots? Everything blended. Oh, okay, cool. Lovely, Daniel. Okay, looks good. Here we go. Five pound. Go away. I put some lemon in it. Enjoy. Is it good? Yeah, but a little bit of lemon's nice. But I think you put too much lemon in. Oh, which was nice. It was amazing. Well, I have to say. I give myself a 10 out of 10 for making the best soup ever. Oh god, nothing like praising yourself, is it, Daniel? It Eat was soup! The, it was the best I soup. I can make ever. soup. What are you talking about yourself? <laughs> yeah, that was the best soup ever. Oh. And I don't think John deserves it. Oh, hey! Give me my food back, please. Thank you very much. Make sure you dry it properly, yeah? Yeah, I always do. She gets so dirty that we have to wash her every day at least because otherwise she's gonna stink not every day but every time she goes from muddy place i washed her yesterday john i know this is very muddy yesterday i have a new job now and i need to shave the monkey <laughs> you can't see his hair but <laughs> he's like a monkey <laughs> i need it off <laughs> look at that look at the monkey Come on, get rid of my hair, bitch. <laughs> and my arms as well. Look at all this shit. Get rid of it. Come on. That looks disgusting. I don't care. Just I, the quicker you get rid of it, the better. Okay, monkey. <laughs> Come on. Stop moving.
morning, John. You can see all the hair sticking up just there. You see, it's not, it's not so bad because I'm blonde, but it makes me look like an old man. Well, you are an old man. I know, I'm not. I'm getting. You're, you're nearly sixty now. Oh, shut up! I'm, I'm actually not. I'm in my forties and I'm getting younger. I've had. You're not going to get younger. Stop, stop lying. No, I'm getting younger. I'm going to look younger. I'm losing the weight. I'm actually really losing the weight. I went for all the walk today. He went from 59 kilos to 69. Look, I'm gonna, in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna show you. You lost a fucking kilo, John. Stop sh showing up for a kilo. How many did you put on? 200 grams. <laughs> you put on the weight. That's why. I don't put like, anything what I lose, it's an, it's an achievement. All right, all right. Anyway. As long as it's look more, look at that, look at that, it's disgusting. You see, if you get rid of all that, sorry about my halo. <laughs> if you get rid of all the body hair, um, lose the fat, get the hair transplant, pull my face back up like that. Change the face. He thinks he's funny, he thinks he's a comedian, he's just not. So what are you doing then? I'm gonna make some little keto buns using bacon and mint. So, I'm gonna put the bacon here on the outside, fill them through, filled with um, lovely things which include mint, um, cheese, and something else. Okay, good luck. What do you mean good luck? There's only luck. I'm making pancakes. Soka. Soka pancakes. So this is what we've got, as simple as this. I'm gonna add salt and pepper to this and break up the mozzarella. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of the, well, I'm gonna put a little bit of the soccer stuff, you know, the mix, um, so that it binds it together. Salt and pepper, and a few other bits. And it should be alright. I mean, this is gonna be a, a bit of an interesting one. I love your hairstyle today. Is it really big? <laughs> In the back. <laughs> is it? <laughs> this is this is um, chickpea flour, uh, spinach. Uh, leeks, peppers, onions, and some eggs. I'm just gonna pour it there, yeah? Yeah. I already put one egg in here just to bind it all together. Some pepper and paprika's in. Paprika! And we're just gonna spoon it in here. And it's just 15 minutes in the oven after that. Okay, go, and go, go check those, they're getting they burned. I can't believe that we are from watching, watching a movie to extreme cooking in five That's minutes. Exactly extreme cooking. Well, you're doing your own thing, I'm doing my own thing. Can you move that plate off the side? I need to take it out. All right then, come on. I'm not eating those though. Why? They look really fatty and cheesy. <laughs> they are. High fat keto diet, but we have to take them out of here. And then, boom. Is the bacon cooked? Of course it's cooked. It looks like boiled bacon. It's not boiled bacon, Daniel. It's just done. Remember, it's it's cooking in its own fat. I'm going to have a look and taste it. So, the consistency, as you can see, it's just the... It got the meatball, meat inside, mint, and then the bacon on the outside, a little bit of bacon at the bottom. And then it's got mozzarella cheese inside. I'm glad you didn't put any salt in. Yeah. It's just perfect. Okay. I think two days off on a quarantine, it's very short. I really don't want to do anything, but I have to. So tomorrow we have to work and we have loads of things to do. But it's been okay, you know, I've been cooking a lot and I haven't cleaned much, but I've watched a lot of Netflix. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to bed because it's a long day tomorrow. So good night, guys. See you in the morning. It's quite cold, Daniel. To put the... I put the heating up actually, and it's a little bit warmer this morning. Um, I saw a little bit cold this morning. I hope it's going to warm up. Um, I don't know if I really want to eat. Well, you know, all that food what we ate, what we cooked last night, we didn't eat all of it. But 
Daniel's now just chomping away. I can't do it. It's that bread. I love this um, um, soccer bread, but it's so filling and it like bloats you and it makes you fart. And obviously it's keto, but I don't think I really want to soak my face with this morning. And I think realistically, I should just not eat so much. That chickpea bread, what Daniel made, I had some like little bits. I never been hungry. We used to have a breakfast. We didn't have breakfast. We didn't cook lunch. We'd just been working all the way through actually, haven't we? I suspect so he's not even answering me. Daniel, mm -hmm. but I do have some soup from yesterday, which is, my, I just found a bone in it. I have soup in my mouth. Okay, fine. You're human, you, you're not a dog. You can just take the bone out. I did. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Kill. Oh. Kill. <laughs> this is what we do when we finish work. We just entertain ourselves because we've got Kill. nothing else to do. We can't go out. Actually, Jack needs to go out. Kill! Olaf's got a job. Kill. So he's not taking her out. But we took her out yesterday. So I think today she's going to stay at home and then tomorrow we're going to have to... She's not going to stay at home. I'm going to take her out. Are you going to take I'd her? I'd rather spend time with her than with you. Well, another coffee machine has been thrown out outside, so I'm gonna try it if it works or not. I really like these ones. They make really nice coffee. They are expensive, but they make really nice coffee. <laughs> All right, so I went to Tesco's and I bought one of these just to try it. I know that Johnny's gonna throw the machine away like always, but might as well try it. Tiny, isn't it? That's how they, that's how they work. Is it? Yeah. Is that clean water? Yeah. All right, just put. No, man. Be, 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 be espresso. Es Is that what you bought? You bought espresso. Espresso. Well, what about me? But this, they make us uh, only espresso. They don't. They do. They do. All right. No, because there's a big button there. Okay. And then Espresso there's a small button. one there. That's a small one. Put my drop on. Those scales which Daniel bought me are just so inaccurate. So yesterday, well I should have said, a week ago, maybe less than, I weighed myself and I was like 95.6. Then the next day I was 96.2. But I already recorded in this Bluetooth recording thing that was 95.6. So I was like, God, I've lost some weight. So I'll put that on there. But now I'm heavier. And this morning I put the scales on different surfaces and it read different. Oh, it's so annoying. But that means that my last weigh-in was really low. So I can't weigh myself until I lose even more weight. And Daniel, in addition to me losing weight, Daniel said that, what did you say, Daniel? I said I've No, he said he's gonna lose weight. And he should my hand this morning. Challenge. Okay, and the challenge is for him just to lose weight, which would be good because he's fat. He's fat. Ah, that's the fat <laughs> Why is it so long? Because she she get she can have like space to to, to run. You can just clip it onto. You're gonna clip it onto your belt. I don't have a belt. Well, that's why you need to go clip it important. clip it onto your little cock. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Look. Yeah, that's it. And then you just put it around there. Is it right? Yeah, it's gonna be too long. So I'm deciding to go running because John keeps calling me fat. So I can do like a half an hour. That's it. All right. See you. I was just thinking about the caravan, it's parked up in Gatwick and um, they asked me to, well they said you want to move the caravan um, and move it somewhere else because there's no body parking in Gatwick. This is a huge car park where people leave their cars but there's nobody attending it because there's no cars to park because of the whole Covid thing. And I was thinking, I left my car, because I left the caravan there, I said, you know what? Just leave it there because they wanted to put it in another park and want me to move it and I wasn't going to do that. But the caravan is absolutely filthy and I am hoping, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm thinking that in March and April or March, April time, we're going to start seeing some kind of normality and I think that they might again allow me to take the caravan and put it on the campsite, which would be absolutely brilliant. And the first thing I'm gonna do is clean it because it's disgusting. On the outside is absolutely grotty. And I was just talking to my friend, Sarah, and I was saying because we're both 
eating well, no carbs, no drinking, no nothing. But you know what? That day will come where we take the caravan out, we take it over to the parking space where it's going to be the caravan seasonal parking. We clean it on the outside and go inside and get pissed on vodka. I'm looking forward. I actually am really looking forward to it. But it's going to be a while yet. And I was thinking, you know, if I do, if I do manage to stick to this lifestyle change, not diet, diets don't work. This is a lifestyle amendment, let's say. If I do manage to stick to this, don't eat crap, then we can have a blowout. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm just going to dream about it now. How sad to remember about caravans. We watch caravans, caravans, caravans. <clears throat> This top is like scraping the bottom of the barrel. I couldn't find anything in my wardrobe what looked young. And this was in Daniel. I don't even know why this one was in your wardrobe, Daniel. Makes me look like an old man. But it fits me apart from that bump just there. This is some I'm kind of, it's some kind of distortion in the center of this t-shirt. Not sure where it is. It's just, that shouldn't be there. Ah, uh, that shouldn't be there. It's your body. The food what he's making smells absolutely beautiful. It does. And I don't, I've got no cream and I really want some more coffee. The thing is, we've got so many different types of coffee. So many different coffee machines. I'm spoiled for choice. It means you want to drink more coffee, but I know I shouldn't because I'm going to be shaking. Actually, I slept okay last night. What about you? Huh? How was the sofa? The sofa was very nice. Daniel and I just had an argument about the eggs. And I said to him, Daniel, you always turn your eggs upside down, which he does. And it's I don't like it. Easy. I don't like it over, under, over easy. And then he says it's good, so I'm gonna cut into this and check. Because I don't think it's not right. So you tell me where is the orange? That, you yeah. see, look, this is what I mean, this look, is supposed to be runny. You're doing a bloody restaurant, you stupid. But I guarantee when I do it, I try my best to make sure that it's runny inside. This is what I mean, he doesn't make the effort. And there's no pepper on my mozzarella and tomato. There is pepper. It's not a lot. This concoction is actually a wonderful soup, which I've made a few times. I haven't shown you how to make it, but you can see in there that we've got, um, oh my God, courgette, bacon. Um, I fried some onions, some garlic. It's got water, chicken stock. And then what you do is you throw this in, which is cheese triangles, which you've already taken out. And then you blend it. You throw it in your big blending machine and that's it, it's dead easy. And it didn't take me long to do. I've got a bit of a bad tummy, I don't know why. Maybe too much coffee. If it's too much, I'll have to do two lots. Oh, two lots. Yes, but don't fill it up too much because they will explode because it's hot. Well, oh, it will? Yeah. So I've got half in there to smell. Yeah. They will definitely explode. Do a lighting one. Like that. Yeah. That'll do, won't it? Yeah. All right, let's put it over bum, here. Bum. Cheesy cheese. Cheesy cheese. Hold on, you, it's gonna explode. It's not, watch, do it slow. Ah! I fucking told you. What do you do? Oh. 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 My belly, I already think it's too much coffee. Well, come on. I mean, that coffee's so strong, we've been having so much of it. This is looking really nice. Hmm? Hmm? No spoon? Thank you. So all you say, so all you say. What's wrong with it? Just boring. <laughs> you didn't ask We've got them out. So, because I was using the pull-up thing, you know um, what I've got in the corridor, I'll show you. We've been using this, or I've been using this. I used it yesterday, but then my body's really hurting. So even if you do a few a day just to get used to actually exercising and hurting my muscle, that's what's important. He's done it again, look. He found this in the street. Big old Teddy. Why did you bring it in? What? Why did you bring it in? Check. 
Jack. Jack. Where's your teddy fizzy then? <laughs> Good girl. Fitty then. <laughs> and he spilt like he spilt all over. I just cleaned it. He spilt the milk, and then this thing it just turned off. It's been going bang, 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 bang. <laughs> It's like a disaster area, Daniel. Why do you have to do that? Because I've been working and on it. I cleaned there everything. What's the flash? Oh, you know, it, it gets in that It's all smoky in here now. Oh, anyway, look. What a, what a wonderful week we've had here at the big gay house in Fulham. But it is the end of the week, and I'm about to say goodnight. So, good night, Daniel. Good night, everybody. And I'll see you next week on Thursday. That's 6.30. We just, we just, uh, when you came, like, didn't, when you do the count. Didn't finish his sentence. That's what he does to me all the time. <laughs> Bye. I'm, well, I'm trying to uh, find uh, the uh, word. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, word. Uh, uh, the uh, word. Uh, uh, the uh, word. Uh, uh,